Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Anna's reading for um, Wednesday, January 8th. We're going to go ahead and turn over these cards. And <gasps> look, oh my god, this is the Ten of Pentacles. We had this yesterday. No joke, I can't even make that up. Ten of Pentacles again. And the Lovers, another major arcana. Lovers. Interesting. And Dreamwalker. Hmm. Dreams, the collective good. Illusions. Okay. This is going to be such a quick and easy reading. It is so easy, especially after yesterday's reading. Guess what, folks? And I'm going to take this literally to mean lovers, lovers, relationships. If you want a relationship to work out, you need to get over the fact. Stop having illusions that the relationship is perfect if and only if you both have executive jobs you're both driving you know the premier I don't know car of the year whatever that kind of thing you need to get over it if you look at the figure and um, lovers here you don't see two two lovers really you just see one person who's thinking and contemplating over an open book and over an open book but then you see an angel, the figure of an angel, reaching out as if to touch the forehead of this individual here. And this individual, you know, you can't tell if it's a male or a female. It's just, it's just a figure, okay? And this is saying, look, look, you are focusing too much on the books. Okay, you're looking at what's in the savings account, what's in, what's in my mutual account, what's over here, what's over there. Those things are important, don't get me wrong. Okay? But in relationships, there's more to relationships than what is in the realm, in the physical realm. Money and material gains and wealth. This is telling me there's someone focused too much on wealth. Okay? I hate to say this, but what I'm getting is that the figure here is a bit of a gold digger. Oh man, a gold digger. This is a <laughs> this reading um, is warning us of a gold digger in a relationship or amongst us. Someone who is looking to make a profit, someone who is who is always looking out to see what can I get out of this? What am I gonna get out of this transaction, out of this relationship, out of this friendship? And you know what? Shame on that person. Shame on them. Shame, shame, shame. The dream worker says, dreams, the collective good, and illusions. This person has formed illusions for themselves, okay? They're in a place that is really high. It's funny because this person here is on sitting. It's almost like they have their own little mini throne, Okay, it's like they're enshrining themselves. And this person sees themselves as really high up. Someone who is above, you know, society type of image. A society type of person. Okay? So, you know what? We need to stop. Stop forming these illusions about what relationships should be looking like. You don't get into relationships just to place yourself in a, in a higher position in society. That's not going to get you in. It will it'll get you somewhere. I'm not going to lie. It's going to get you somewhere society-wise. But will that be enough? I don't know. Time will tell. More than likely, it's not going to be enough. Nothing will ever be enough for this individual. Wow. So that's the reading for today. Aimed at someone who is bottom line profiteer. Huh? Look at that. Isn't that interesting? It's sad also. But anyway, what is the advice? Let's keep our eyes open. Let's see who it is that is trying to be that gold digger in our lives. Who is trying to, to always gain and take from us. And let's move away from that person. They're working at a, a very low level. All they want is stuff for me, me, them, them, them. You follow? All right. Have a wonderful day always. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.